Hi, I'm Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor and owner of Ocremed Health. And today we're going to do um, a little different video. I've actually never done this before. You know, there's weeks I know we hop around from in my office doing some therapy related videos. Uh, then we come over here and we're doing some uh, training videos. And most of the time when we're in the gym doing training videos, I'm breaking down exercises or groups of exercises and we're going into detail over the anatomy and over the uh, actual way you perform the exercises so, but today's gonna be a little different I'm actually just filming um, my back workout today's back day I have pe people that have uh, have wrote into me asked you know just for just advice on hey what do you do dr. Joe on chest day leg day back day and so today's back day and I thought I would just film my back workout so I'm not gonna get into too much detail technically about each exercise. I'm just gonna film the back workout. I will give some little you know, information here and there um, uh, on, some, on some different things. If you get any questions um, after the video, after you watch it, please write in. I'll be more than happy to answer anything about any of the exercises we're doing today. When it comes to back day, I always center my back workouts around the deadlift. Um, I'm either doing sumo style, regular style. Today what I've decided to do is we're going to do uh, deadlifts. We're going to use uh, for the heavy part of the movements, we're going to do some sumo deadlifts. I'm going to do, I'm going to work up to five sets of five repetitions. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, do the five sets of five. Uh, we don't, when we're doing five sets of five, we don't count that warm up reps and, and the fact that I'm going to be 55 years old this month. I, I do a lot of warm-up reps, I, I, a lot of warm-up sets. I, I need to warm up good. If you can get warmed up into your weight right away, all, all the power to you. But at my age, uh, you're going to notice I'm going to do a lot of warm-up sets. We don't count them. I'll try to like uh, just show quick clips of those warm-up sets. We're going to get right to the five sets of five, and then we'll go from there for the rest of the back workout. So uh, without further uh, uh, delay, let's get right into the uh, back workout today. and uh, We're going to start warming up some sumo deadlifts. Okay, so pretty much warm up wise, I start off a uh, couple sets um, that I'll be at just 140, uh, 135 or 45 on each side. I'll do that for a couple sets, you know, somewhere, you know, eight to 10 rep range. I'm gonna get a set in right now. Uh, I'm gonna go out a little wide on our sumo. I do these sets, uh, all the work, work up sets and my heavy sets, you know, no straps. I got no gear on. I will put a belt on when I get to my heavier sets, but right now as a warm up, you know, we're going uh, without any gear here. Okay, and what I'll do a lot of times is I'll wait a couple minutes in between these warm-up sets. I'm usually um, before um, I'm usually doing some light stretching, nothing too too heavy, just a little light stretching, um, just keeping warm. I don't sit down between sets. I keep moving. Um, you know, I don't want to get cold. I'll just wait a couple minutes, and I'm going to get back to uh, another set with the 135. Before I even get to the 135, I mean, I've got, I don't just, you know, come right in from, from work and start. I mean, I'll, I'll, I made sure I was warmed up. I did a little bit of, uh, I walked on the treadmill for about 10 minutes. I got some blood flowing. I did a little light stretching before I even started. So I'm, I'm kind of already got the blood going and I'm getting ready to go. So I don't waste much time. I try to do the warm-up sets relatively quickly. Um, um, just, you know, just to... To get to get to right to my main sets as fast as I can. So actually, I'm just going to do this one more time now. Same weight. So once again, I try to just do these, just to get the blood going through all the major muscle groups that are involved. Okay, a um, couple things deadlifting, I either do it barefooted or I wear, uh, these are skateboarding shoes, uh, they're actually uh, just flat. I never, you never want to deadlift in like running shoes, not a good idea, either go barefoot or uh, or go with a flat, like a skateboarding shoe, like uh, 
A uh, pair of uh, Converse high tops are great. Uh, skateboarding shoes, any style are great. Uh, but those are, that's what I wear as far as footwear goes. And so there was a couple sets with 135. Usually what I do next is I'm gonna jump up, uh, I'll throw another quarter on, we'll do a couple sets at 185. Okay, added a little extra weight up to 185. You know, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm actually trying to mic myself during these sets. So I guess you're gonna get a lot of the grunting and groaning as we get up heavier on the weights. But uh, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to try to do it this way. So like I said, first time doing a workout video where I'm just filming my workout. So once again, <clears throat> I'm going all sumo for these heavy lifts today. Um, I'll just do the 185. Sometimes on these warm sets, I'm just looking to get a few reps just to, 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 to take me through to the next weight without making too big a jumps. So uh, a warm up set to me, I may even just, sometimes I may get, uh, like at the beginning there, we did an eight, nine, whatever reps. Uh, we're at 185, I may just do it for a few reps. Depends how I feel. Every day is always a little bit different. You know, some days I do warm up faster than others. Depends how sore I am. Depends how stiff I am. Some days just takes me longer to warm up than others. Like I said, I'm gonna be 55 this month. I just don't warm up as fast as I did when I was 18. So there's one set. I like to do a second set with the 185. So I'm gonna take a second and we're gonna do that uh, a second set. Okay, here we go, another set at 185. You know, in between these sets, uh, I'm not filming it, but I do, I'm do. i doing a little light stretching, just real light, just to keep, keep the blood flowing between sets. Um, back to, uh, like I said, another set with 185. I like working deadlifts both ways, in a sumo type style and a regular style. Okay, a um, couple sets. I'm gonna jump up now to two and a quarter. And uh, at this point, usually at about two and a quarter, I'll put on the, um, I'll start using my belt uh, kind of on a light setting just to start with the belt and I'll, I'll work up with the belt from the here, here on out. You know, deadlifting wise, not wearing any equipment. I just got, I like to, I like to deadlift in sweats just because the, the bar's dragging up the legs, so I like to wear sweats even though it's summertime. Um, it's up to you, personal preference. I've always deadlifted in sweatpants. So let's draw and uh, bring the weight up a little heavier. Okay, two and a quarter, just gonna get a few reps in. Okay, great, make another jump in the weight. Okay, next warm up set, uh, let's see, I threw a 10 and a five on each side, 225, 255. Um, at this point, I'm just looking a couple reps, just like I said, I'm using these as a, what we call like accommodation sets. I'm just trying to accommodate to some heavier weight without jumping up too quickly, just to avoid injury. Uh, like I said, Warm up sets, it's a personal personal thing. Uh, some days I do less sets than others. This isn't a long process. I try to run through these warm up sets quickly. So, just gonna feel out this weight. This helps me. Sometimes my warm up sets actually help me determine, you know, how heavy I'm gonna go for that day. Depends on how I'm feeling and how the weight feels to me for that particular day. Good, okay, next jump. I think I'm probably gonna get to about, probably go 275. Okay, so just gauging how I'm feeling today. This will probably be my last warm up set at 275. Um, and then I'm gonna start in on my five sets of five. I had a you know pretty heavy squat workout. I went heavy on Sunday, uh, heavy chest on Monday, um, some light stuff on Tuesday, some core stuff. Um, so um, Deadlifts today, I, I, I think we're gonna just kinda do this as the last warm up and then we'll start the five sets of five. I don't think I'm gonna go too much heavier, but I'll get a couple reps with this and then I'll determine uh, where I'm gonna start my five sets of five. You know, you gotta be flexible. You can't, um, you know, depending on how you feel that day, you gotta go with the flow. If I'm, if I'm feeling stronger that day, I'll go a little heavier. If I'm not feeling stronger, I'm not gonna get injured over it. So I, I, I use my warm ups to kinda help me gauge, you know, how I'm feeling that day. 
So here we go, we're just gonna get a couple reps. All right, that was the last warm up. Five sets of five are coming up. So when I'm training, I try to keep things moving pretty fast. And uh, what I do to help recover, just a little tip, is I do a lot of belly breathing. So in between sets to make my recovery a little faster, I'll take uh, a breath in through my nose and let the stomach expand and then blow out through my mouth and let the air out. And that's a belly breath. And I use some belly breathing between sets. It actually helps accelerate uh, your recovery. And I'll do that in between sets. So just a little, um, little info, some, some uh, recovery tips. Okay, um, put another 10 on each side. So we're at 275, so we're at 295. Uh, we're gonna start some five sets of five. You know, sometimes I'm making adjustments. If I feel like I'm stalling out on the five reps, uh, if I do a set where I only get four, you know, I'll drop it a little bit. If the weight feels too easy, um, you know, we'll add a little weight. Uh, but right now, warm-up sets are done. So these are, this is kind of like the official part of the, of the workout beginning right now, okay? So. Okay, set one. All right, here we go, set two. If you're wondering time-wise, I probably took about, probably about three minutes uh, between uh, the last set. So I'm trying to move pretty quick, three minutes. Um, I wanna make sure I'm recovered enough to get another set of five, but I don't wanna wait too long. And like I said, I never sit down between sets. I'm walking around the gym, I'm doing some light stretching, I'm keeping the blood flow, and I, I just can't, uh, I see sometimes people do that, and that's okay if you do it, but I just can't sit down and then get back up to do the next set, I keep moving, so. Okay, coming up on set number three. This is one of those videos where you're hoping all your clips that you're filming are coming out, coming out okay, because you don't have to, you can't obviously go back and reshoot any of this. Sometimes, you know, as I'm filming therapy videos, I can reshoot a section, but I'm not doing any extra sets of uh, five, five sets of five here. So anyways, this is set three, here we go. I didn't realize how sore my legs are from uh, squat day on Sunday until I started deadlifting today. I thought I actually felt pretty good and uh, I can really feel my glutes and hams on these uh, from, um, the, from Sunday, uh, Sunday squat workout, but that's okay. Uh, when you love weightlifting, you love, you love the, uh, the, the muscle soreness, the doms that go with it, man. All right, here we go. Okay, fourth set. You know, just one quick thing. You know, if you're training, if you're not doing your basic movements, you're really missing out on a lot of gains in the gym. You know, back day is deadlifts, uh, leg day is squats, uh, chest day, uh, bench press. You gotta work in your basic compound movements, your powerlifting movements. If you're not, if you're training, um, you know, you're missing out. And it's not that you have to go trying to break world records. I don't deadlift nearly as heavy as I did uh, when I was younger. I mean, at my age, my weights are down. But you know what? For, for my age and my ability, I still try to push it a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm, um, you know, I'm still trying to do, I'll do days where I'm doing five sets of five. Uh, sometimes I'm doing three uh, sets of threes. So I try to push it for my ability at my point of my life but you're missing out if you're not doing some of these basic movements. So I just encourage everybody to, you know, get to the basics, uh, deadlifting, squats, bench press. You gotta incorporate those movements into your workout.
By the way, it's not as easy as I thought deadlifting with a microphone on. <laughs> All right, one more to go. Okay, last set. Um, one more set of five reps, um, and then I'll explain next next exercise or next thing we're gonna do. We're actually gonna stick with some deadlifts, but we'll talk about it in a second. Okay. Hope this mic is giving some good sound effects to the uh, grunts and groans of uh, of deadlifting. All right, here we go. Five sets of five, that was a 295. So here's the plan. Um, I'm actually gonna drop some weight down. We're gonna do some reps. I'm actually gonna go from sumo to regular style. Uh, I'm gonna rep it out um, for a couple sets, uh, just some high reps. And, uh, but before we do, I know, I know there's always haters in the crowd, so I'm gonna bring the camera over. I know it's not like I was breaking world records. It was five sets of five at 295, but I'm sure I'll get people writing in saying that I only had 150 pounds on the bar. I'm gonna bring the camera over as I take some of the weights off just to show you guys uh, the plates for anyone who really gives a crap. But anyways, like I said, there's always, uh, there's always someone that'll say that the plates didn't look right. So anyways, Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. This is our ten. There's our quarter. Um, there's our 45. I just wanted to show that because it's obviously smaller than the bumper plate. And um, I'm gonna leave this on because I'm gonna do some two and a quarters. There's the other, uh, the other weight, as you can see. That's a 45 pound bumper. Uh, and I'm gonna leave this other 45 on. Uh, right now because we're gonna do some sets with uh, two and a quarter. All right, so what we're doing today uh, for, for back day is we did five sets of five. We did sumo style. I did uh, no straps, just a mixed grip. Now I'm dropping the weight down from 295. We're going down to two and a quarter. And what I like to do uh, on some days like we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go back to a conventional style deadlift and we're gonna bang out some reps. So when I do that, I, do, I like to do a double overhand grip and so that my grip doesn't give out before the muscles of my back and my posterior chain, I'm gonna use straps uh, because I don't wanna stop my set uh, because of my, my grip. I'm working my grip on my heavy deads, so there's nothing wrong with throwing a pair of straps on on your lightest sets just to make sure you get more reps and not stop your set because your grip lets go. So um, nothing wrong with using some straps. Um, like I said, I don't like to use straps all the time because then you're never, um, you're never gonna build up any grip strength. So I'll, I always go uh, no, no straps on heavy deads, uh, but when I come to like a lighter set, I'm repping out, I'm gonna go with my straps. So down to two and a quarter on the, on the bar. I'm gonna come in close now, conventional style dead. I'm just gonna get my straps all set. Okay, so I'm gonna bang out some reps. How many, we don't know yet, but let's go for it.
All right, it's 12. I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get a couple more of those sets in, okay? All right, so so here we go. Another set of just some conventional deads, lighter weight, higher reps. Got the straps on. Um, you know, I got 12 the first set. I'm gonna shoot for that vicinity, uh, depending on how I feel. I try to do these quicker than my five sets of five, where I take a little extra rest. Uh, these, I don't really care um, whether I get 10 reps, 12 reps, 11 reps, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going a little bit faster between sets. Lots of belly breathing between the sets, trying to recover uh, and get ready for this next set. So here we go, regular style dead. Set number two. Gotta love deadlifting. And then do 11. And you gotta love that head rush after a set. Okay, so the rest of the back workout is all secondary exercises. We're gonna do three sets of each exercise in the 10 rep range. So we're gonna do three sets of some bent over barbell rows. As you can see here, uh, and I already did a full video on, on the technique of bent over rows. If you wanna watch that, I'll throw the card up above me. You can check out that video. But uh, basically, uh, three sets, around 10 repetitions of bent over barbell rows. Then we're going to do three sets, as you can see here, of 10 repetitions of lat pull downs. Uh, vary your grip if you want. Um, I'm gonna pull to the front today, but you can do it any way you like. Uh, grip width, uh, grip, reverse grip, uh, overhand grip, whatever you want to do. And, and then we're going to uh, do three sets of 10 repetitions of seated cable rows. And that's going to finish up uh, the back workout. Uh, as you can see, I'm just showing some bits and parts, uh, pieces of that uh, so that this video doesn't run uh, too long. But those are all secondary exercises. The bulk of the back workout is built around the best exercise for back, the deadlift. All right, so there you have it. There was my back workout for the day. Give that routine a try. It's always great to try new things. And of course, the most important thing about any workout routine is you gotta keep changing it up. You don't wanna avoid uh, plateauing and getting used to your workout. Change up that workout frequently. All right, uh, exercise programs, mobility plans, my ebook, the Accommodation Avoidance System Training Program, our SRI shock release instrument are all available on my website www.okramedhealth.com. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel, Okramed Health on YouTube. Questions about exercises or injuries, just leave a comment in the comment section below. I always get back to everyone who writes in. And don't forget, Okramed Health is here to keep you fit forever.